but we need to know who are the stakeholders and who are the people within those stakeholders groups that have the greatest influence and can be brought on or mo and mobilized effectively as translators. We need to look at what new roles and structures we, we, we need to create to be able to support the change. Uh, we need to be clear in terms of communicating what the change process is and, and what are the guidelines for change. Um, we've gone through many layoffs uh, recently in the in the past three years, and um, and people need to understand, you know, if it, what happens if their job is eliminated and. Uh, how are we what are we going to do for them are we going what's the timing going to be in the process are we going to help them find new jobs uh, so we really need to be able to clearly articulate and define the consequences of change uh, for people who are leaving as well as for people who are staying in the organization uh, to be able to build tangible symbols of the change an exercise that Clinton and I often do is is when 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 a problem solving group comes up with a solution, is we ask we ask that group to graphically illustrate that that solution. 